Abu Dhabi, capital city of the United Arab Emirates. Due to its immense natural resources of oil and gas, the city has seen much transformation, although old traditions are still much respected. The traditional arts and crafts of the Emirates are still practiced in Heritage Village, as can be seen from this fine display. Abu Dhabi's Corniche has recently been improved, and this splendid coastal boulevard now boasts several large parks. However, although the oil-rich economy looks assured for several decades to come, the sheikhs are already planning new sources of income for the future. Large, impressive skyscrapers dominate the Abu Dhabi skyline, political center of the United Arab Emirates. With around 1.5 million inhabitants, after Dubai, this is the second largest metropolis in the Gulf, and it continues to expand. A number of traditional markets have managed to survive amid the shining facades of the city's skyscrapers. The souks are like relics of a bygone age. Also historic, but still operating at full capacity, are the Dao shipyards. The Dao is to be seen in all the riparian states of the Indian Ocean. Large and luxurious yachts lie at anchor in the Abu Dhabi Yacht Club, popular meeting place of oil-rich millionaires and international businessmen. The city has developed a truly cosmopolitan atmosphere. In this emirate that has the same name as its capital city, there are more foreigners living here than locals. The growing prosperity of the emirate is omnipresent. The city takes much pride in its appearance. Dromedaries and camels, once the most important means of transport for the caravans of the Arabian Peninsula, are now mainly used to attract tourists. In addition to the new Sheikh Zayed Mosque, there is another building that dominates the scenery, the Emirates Palace. A mighty triumphal gate leads visitors into a fascinating oriental fairy tale world. The Emirates Palace has made Abu Dhabi world famous and has also assisted greatly in establishing it as a center of tourism. Despite its name, the Emirates Palace is not in fact a royal palace, but a luxurious seven-star hotel of the superlative. In 2005 and following four years of construction, plus more investment than any other hotel ever built anywhere in the world, Abu Dhabi became the proud new owner of this majestic landmark. The splendid entrance hall alone is quite breathtaking, and the abundance of lavish furnishings and attention to detail is truly outstanding. Seeing the golden glow that seems to fill each room of the Emirates Palace, it's obvious why this building excels all others.
It cost an amazing three billion US dollars to build, and luxurious decor is to be found everywhere in this fabulous hotel. The person responsible for the construction of this record-breaking hotel, Sheikh Zayed Al Nayan, the President of the United Arab Emirates, is commemorated here. The rooms, and most notably the hotel's spacious seven-star suites, are lavishly furnished and make those staying here really feel like royalty. Each wing of the hotel has a noble and discreet atmosphere and features its own private reception area. The splendor and sheer quantity of precious materials used in this building really do befit a palace. The Emirates Palace not only serves as an hotel and conference center, but also to accommodate the various guests of the Abu Dhabi government. The 700 meter long building was designed by the architects Wimberley, Allison, Tong and Gu. No expense was spared in the design of the outdoor leisure facilities and large exclusive pool area. The hotel grounds cover a huge area. The beach that is strictly reserved for the hotel's guests is 1.3 kilometers long. Both the hotel's main building and side wings are crowned by several cupolas, 114 to be precise. An important feature of the Emirates Palace is the harmonic fusion of both contemporary and Arab Islamic design. Due to year-long sunshine and marvelous beaches, the palace provides everything necessary to ensure a relaxing holiday of pure indulgence. Here, an artificially created tropical paradise has been combined with an oriental fantasy straight out of the 1001 Nights. The Emirates Palace has now taken Abu Dhabi out of the shadow of nearby Dubai and has been an instant success. It has also introduced a booming tourist industry to this region. Further developments are planned, but nothing will outdo the Emirates Palace.